Item number three. Uh, resolution number 110802. Airport project. Thank you very much. This, uh, oh, this is a. Uh, Go ahead and enter the uh, My name is Bobby Odom. I'm with Volker Associates. I have Ms. Sarah Moss with me here. Uh, we handle the aviation division for uh, the Volker Associates at the Baton Rouge office. And um, we have been working with you guys uh, regarding the Lindbergh Airport and the current FY 2012 project. Or 2011 project, I'm sorry. And I understand there were some questions from the last meeting. Um, the they, the mayor had gotten in touch with me and asked me to go over those. And we reviewed the, the presentation from the last meeting. And I understand there were probably three points of interest, I think, Frank, uh, on the that you had uh, from those. And we, we're here to answer any questions you guys have that and clarify some of the points of interest you were bringing up uh, during the last week's meeting. A um, couple of the items that were on there were funding. Was the money available? Uh, yes, the money is. I have spoken with both the FAA and the LADOTD. Uh, these monies are sitting there waiting for this grant process to go through. Um, matter of fact, they're kind of on us to get this that hurried up just a little bit. The funding will be approximately 95% federal, and the other 5% will be picked up by the state. So it will be a, basically no cost to the city. Um, one of the other points of interest, uh, excuse me, were the authorization assignments. I knew there was some confusion about what we were signing and what we were getting approvals for today and were we getting the cart in front of the horse. Um, I, I do understand there was a, a mix up between ourselves and the city as far as the advertising for bids, and I have to just apologize for that. We're kind of new on the scene, and we didn't realize there was a step in there we had missed. We were kind of crunched for time this year with Congress shutting down the FAA for two weeks. Um, that really put everybody behind the eight ball. When they came back on scene, everybody just flooded, trying to get everything done by the end of the fiscal year for those guys. So we're going to work with the Roxy and the mayor to try and get that taken care of. What we are actually trying to get permission for the mayor to sign is the grant application. And what we have to do is we have to make application to the feds. The feds will then send you a grant offer, and the grant offer is what you'll actually accept. It won't have to be attested by the city attorney. So with this shortened cycle, what we were trying to do is make this happen. So this is going to happen in a matter of days. It's really back to back to back. Um, so we were working with a few other airports doing this, and the grant applications are hitting. And you, I mean, literally within 24 hours, they've got a grant offer sitting on their desk. Normally, this is taking, you know, it would normally take a week or two, so we would, under normal procedures, would come to you guys with the authority to um, execute your grant application, right. then come back to you at the next meeting and execute your grant offer. Right. Um, with, with the shortened schedule that uh, the feds <coughs> are pushing us through, we, we kind of run into a, a wall here toward the end of the fiscal year. I, I, I appreciate you sharing the information with us. Uh, our concerns are, are vital because we have to we have to um, consider the, the the ordinances or the resolutions that have to be made in order to give the mayor the necessary authority to proceed, yeah. uh, which also gives you the authority to proceed. Our concern, of course, was following protocol. Uh, are you familiar with, or have you done how many of these type? Grant loan applications have you I, I've been doing airport work about 11 years. Uh, I personally am the project manager of over 20 airports in Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. I see. So then, we, have you have you encountered any 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 problems in, in, in the past with those that you have had that was similar that was different from what we have here? Uh, about 16 of those airports are municipalities, and every one of those municipalities operate different. Uh, I have some that go in front of the commission for every step of the project I mean, you know the, every possible step you can imagine they go in front and have a resolution right. all the way to the other extreme where they go in the beginning of the project and say this is the project we're going to do and i'm not coming back to you until it's time to execute a grant offer and, and everything in between so to say there, there's a, a problem um I mean, yeah, I'm familiar with the process, very familiar with the process, and this, you know, the case here, they didn't realize we were missing a step with you guys. And, and yes. Due to our previous <clears throat> experience with, with, with uh, these types of loans, and the first uh, procedure that you mentioned is what we would like to yes. to have. We would like to be, we would like, we would like for it to be brought before the council. Uh, and as 
protocol calls for, you know, are deemed necessary. Uh, we understand that you have to move expeditiously in order to keep up with FAA, but uh, we don't want to make any mistakes with federal money that would cost us anything other than our freedom. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Completely. Therefore, we, we, would, we would prefer that it is done according to protocol and procedure. And then, of course, all the necessary formalities will, be, will take place. Uh, I'm only saying this because we want to be cautious, but at the same time, we want to make sure that we're making adequate decisions for the city. Those that do not feel that this is a proper procedure don't have to accept it, but neither do we. So what I'm saying that in the future, we'd appreciate it very much if the council would be considered like it's supposed to be. Thank you for your comments. Yes, Are there any other comments? I've got a question. I asked this question a while back, uh, a couple meetings ago, and that's the uh, the selection committee. Uh, and I know that I think uh, our soon-to-be former representatives is on that committee, and uh, maybe one of our councilmen, and then maybe a gentleman from the airport is on that committee. Uh, I don't know if there are any others on that on that committee because I, I, I'm not aware. I wasn't aware of that committee until recently. Uh, my concern is that committee naming an engineering firm, and I consider it being bypassed, uh, it's bypassed the, uh, the council. We didn't know uh, about hiring this firm until, you know, after they had been hired by a selection committee. And, and I'm quite concerned with the, uh, the steps um, that, that weren't taken, I, I felt like, I feel like that, that is something that the council uh, should authorize and approve is uh, who we will be hiring to do city work. So that, that's, a, that's a concern for me. And I, I don't know if we're overstepping bounds and we, we jumped over a, a step there or not, and our, and our legal counsel may know, or our clerk may have more information on that, but, um, but, but the council was left out of, of hiring this firm, and, and, I, and I haven't seen that done before. Uh, I mean, I may, and, and if it's if it's all good and well, it's fine. But, but to me, it doesn't seem good and well. Mr. Uh, Mr. Gill. I, I made the statement last week that uh, I was not trying to purposely uh, keep the council out, that I was following the instructions of, a, of an engineering firm mm -hmm. that, that uh, was, was basically telling me, you know, this is what you have to do, and this is what you have to do. And uh, I listened. And uh, at that time, I don't consider myself a uh, old season mayor at, at this date, but at that time I was really uh, inexperienced. So I, I've already stated last last Tuesday that uh, I didn't know the procedures, and I, and I, I followed the procedures, and I followed them down to to the letter. Uh, and, and my concern is, is, are we okay with the way things are? Please. I think, Mr. Uh, Gill, any time the town incurs debt, it must get canceled. Therefore, an engineering firm or any type of consulting work, the town will incur debt, even though maybe the government's going to reimburse it 100%. So to answer your question, I, I think any time the town incurs debt, it should get canceled. Other than budgetary items, that's in your budget, maybe. 
those things, every time somebody needs to buy something, they don't need to come back to the county. Right, right, right. Little things like that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah that, that's my opinion on it. it uh, uh, not saying anything bad about the engineering firm, and I know everybody yeah. hustling and trying to get this thing in, but uh, that can be cleared up by a simple resolution by this council to hire this firm to continue on this, this project. Can that be done for the next meeting? Uh, or, or I, I don't know our timetable, Bobby. What's our timetable on this grant application? Um, the grant application is hopefully we're going to submit it in the next day or two. You know, but so we, we probably need to retain the engineering firm. The question the council should ask is how we're going to pay them, and I think he's answered that that the funds are going to be there to pay the engineering firm. And uh, I think a resolution. But does that feel okay? That's all I'm asking. Does this resolution cover everything that we made? Six paragraphs. Yeah. Uh, you, you, we've named. Okay. okay. So that that would be sufficient. Yeah. Okay. So and fine. then I think that would get us this one. Uh, that'll get everything in line and move forward. So we do, do we need to do a motion? Well, you've got the resolution in front of you. The resolution, I think, includes the change of the uh, engineering firm. And I move that we accept resolution number 11-0802. I'll move that we accept it. resolution 11-0802. We'll, we'll have a second the next step will be the uh, bids that were opened yeah. on the 19th did, did we open bids on the yeah. 19th okay. and we don't have any results of that finalized yet okay, okay. so that will take your everything today yeah I will uh, second the motion to allow for discussion. It's been properly moved and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Abstain. Abstain.
Louisiana Community Block Grant of application. Uh, does everyone have a copy of this? Thank you. 